New Testament Assembly Worldwide presents the 2021 annual convention. Theme lifted by God. But I want us to shout seven hallelujah unto our God tonight for bringing us from last year up to another convention. Praise ye the Lord! 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 Praise, praise ye the Lord! Hallelujah! Please, you may be seated. Let me warmly welcome you once again to the official commencement of Convention 2021 with the theme, Lifted by God. I want you to look at your neighbor and say to them, I am going to be lifted at this convention by the mighty hand of Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus. It is my singular honor tonight to bring forward to give his welcome address for the commencement of Convention 2021. A man that we are all aff 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 affiliated to. Let me use that word. But like we are told this morning at the minister's conference, we will not cross the honor line. We will not get too familiar with this man. So that what he carries can flow to us. And not only to outsiders. Praise the Lord. He is a man who is set up as the angel of this house. A man called of God to the nations. I call him the teacher of teachers, a prophet to many nations. Is the angel of New Testament assembly worldwide, the set man of this house. Once again, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I ask you to rise up as we receive to the podium tonight to deliver the welcome address to the 2021 convention. Pastor Samson Bami Bayon, the general overseer, New Testament assembly worldwide. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the glory of His Majesty, who will go any land. Whose name is called the I Am? Any to for a day, meaning all are welcome in Jesus. Name. We give God all the glory. We give God all. We give God all the glory. We give God all. To God, we are not a liability to men. Thank you for the love of Jesus that passes human expression. Thank you for the grace that keeps singing in our matter. Thank you for the light of God and the grace of God and the goodness of His Majesty. 
You have said you are going to be merciful to those whom you choose. And taking the samples of the people you choose, human beings have no answer for them. You are the only one who is the answer to your own question. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you for last year. Thank you for this year. Thank you for this year. Thank you for the years to come. Thank you for packaging us from the celestial realm. Thank you for empowering us to be useful for you in this land of the living. Thank you for the order of angels at work. Thank you, they never go on sabbatical. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that speaks. Better and brighter. Thank you for all that the blood of Jesus has spoken concerning us. Thank you for the revelation of the mystery. Thank you for grace and glory. Thank you for moving us together. Thank you for those who are near and those who are far. Thank you for all our activities. Thank you for those who believed in us. Thank you for those who didn't believe in us. Because whoever the Lord has sent you to, we believe you. Thank you, O oh God, for keeping us in your law. Therefore, today I pray as when rain falls and cause grass to grow, the word of the Lord will grow in the hearts and soul and bodies of everyone. Lifting will not be a difficult assignment. You have done it before, you will do it now. I promise it, you will fulfill it. We believe our hope are strong. Therefore, throughout the program this weekend, we lock the kingdom of darkness permanently. All satanic personalities and properties, either on the air, on the land, in the sea, in animals, in reptiles, in fruits, wherever the devil has located all his strategic fighters, we lock them, we destroy their operations in the name of. Jesus, we release the soul and spirit of people to embrace the gospel of Jesus Christ. We release the desires of all and sundry. The angel of his glory will move near and draw people into the kingdom of God. Nothing will be done for self glorification. All will be done for the glory of the Lord Jesus. Now come the time when those who are in the grave will hear the voice of the Son of God. And they will come forth alive. As many who have been buried in failure by the word of light beginning from now let all your graveyard be open in the name of Jesus those who have been buried in ungodliness buried in non lack of understanding buried in culture that is satanic buried in uncare attitudes full of destruction and man god of wickedness lord you are the one who lifts up i pray you will lift everyone with the word of god in the name of jesus our flight will be in a high altitude of the holy ghost no one will crash land as we go on high altitude right from this day until Sunday we will cruise on the decree of the Holy Ghost and the communication will be very effective from celestial city 
have all things according to divine approval. The effortless ease. We are all going to be lifted. Thank you, it is done. In Jesus' unbeatable name, we have prayed. Can we jam our two living hands together to say thank you to Jesus? God bless you. Please, you may all be seated. All glory goes back to the Almighty. Who is, who was, and who is to come? The owner of time and the owner of season. The one who says yes and nobody can turn it to no. And the one who is forever, whose name is called the I am. We turn all praise back to him forever. December is here again this year. Flash back in time. A lot of people we, we were together January. Today we are no longer in the world of the living. Since the visit of a terrible bad visitor to the world that have been captioned to the COVID-19. Millions of people have hurried to eternity. Some people prepared, others unprepared. When you are fighting an enemy you cannot see, it takes an invisible God to be able to back you up. The reason why you are alive is not because you are holier than others. Not because you are prayerful than anybody. But because there is an appointment with God in your destiny. When you look at me, you are seeing one man standing. But when God looks at me, he sees a whole generation standing. That is the picture God takes to look in your direction. God is interested in people of praise. And I believe there is something God wants to use you for. And your current standing may not be able to allow God to use you. That's why I said this year. You must be lifted to a point he can use you better. Glory be to God for our regular friends. Our regular friends our who have believed in us and they have always been for us. We thank God for all our members and people that we didn't even know. Those on site and those online. For wherever you came from or you are watching us from, the Lord has blessed you, that blessing will grow. Are we saying amen to that? Amen. The appreciation goes to the Almighty God. Because this year's topic is an invite. Invitation to a life that God is involved in. It's a life into beauty. A life into brilliance. A life into benefit. And that you are going to experience. It is a living prophecy for all of us to experience in life. When you travel by air for the first time, you appreciate the thrills. The beauty of being halfway between heaven and on earth. Yet, 
is not even nearer where God dwells. And God is saying, I want to lift you up. And he has done it before in Bible days. He will do it for you. Can you prophesy that, that God is going to do it for me? COVID-19 can never suppress God's operation. And in the name of the Lord of hosts, I welcome those who came from far and those who came from near. The Almighty God who invited you is going to bless you more. You are not going to be a misfit. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. The beauty here is that lifting is for real. I'm sure you know the story of the apostles of Christ. He beat 12 unrelated human beings. He beat them as his disciples. Peter, an outgoing one. He can talk, he can bold, and whatever it is, he picked it. He had age on his advantage. He had age, age at his advantage. And there was another young one by the name John. That one will always keep quiet and be watching others. And it came to a time when Peter was asking Oga Jesus. Why don't you allow this boy to go and be serving his own parents? And Jesus said, What's your business about it? I call you, I call John. And at the end of the day, John was growing. He was the only known apostle that, that grew to an old age. And in one of the days of his experience, Revelation chapter 4, God decided to use him in an unusual way. He says, After this, I look and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the voice which spake, the first voice which spake, I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me talking with me which said come up here i will show you things which must be hereafter <laughs> Come up here. Every word you are going to hear today and until Sunday with the voice of the microphone will be talking to you one by one. Come up in your devotion. Come up in your revelation. I want to lift you up. I want to show you things that other people are missing out. You must not make a wrong choice this time. Because forces of life has forced a lot of people to stay in no land. From value of ungodliness and frustration, they have been seated there for long. And God will be using the voice of the trumpet to call a lot of people to come up here. You are going to come up away from your limited circle and horizon. From your low experience to an elevated experience. He'll be using the voice of his ministers in teaching, in preaching, in songs. 
flexible. Your spirit man must be flexible. Because the time he's going to call you is different from the time he's going to call me. The method he's going to call you is different from the method he's going to use in calling me. So some people is when they are eating. And a voice will speak to them, come up here. Let me show you the manner of your eyes. To others, when we we'll be singing, then the angel will come nearer. And say, My daughter, come up here. Let me show you the graphic design of your eyes. Some other people, when the word of God is going on like this, the architecture of the arising will be televised unto them. Don't make the mistake of ranking God with your denominational understanding. You can use the youngest person to open your eyes. You can use the oldest person to open your eyes. From whatever method God is going to use, just be sure you don't allow anybody to disturb you. People of God have prayed for you. Men and women of God are fasted because of you. And at the time when God is ready for you, you must not be absent. Some people they say, I want to sleep more. Because it took us some time before we slept last night. You must realize the come up statement will come to you when you obey. If there is anything you believe you need and you don't know where those things are, find out from all the staffs and people that are working the kingdom of God workers. People from outside your culture will come. And when you are totally unlike you. Not from your country, not from your tribe, and you must remove tribalistic sentiment from this place. So you come before the presence of Jehovah, you must realize that it's not a place where you maintain tribe. Neither must you make it to be the place where it's only men here, the women not there. You must try and see how to have understanding. Because the religion of a lot of people break down at the sight of food. That should not be your own problem. Say this people are not fast the way we normally are fast in our houses. Remember their generation is backwardness. But the Lord is saying, Come up here. Go, okay, why? I have a better plan for you. Table top is not the best to assess how big the world is. If you want to know how big the world is, and you climb on top of your own table, you will see somewhere. But you cannot even see your whole local government. If you climb on top of the roof, you will see somewhere. Because well, you can't see the whole world. You must go into satellite. Satellite will beam full light onto the world for you. And there is no way you can come up until you are empowered. Spiritual matters are spiritual things. A single vision can make you all that you have been dreaming of over the years. Therefore, 
Because you know. love to complain about everything. The angels of God are everywhere around. You want to minister to the young and the old. And do not allow Satan to distract your attention. So if you cooperate with God, your lifting is possible. And I show you as we go. You must rise up inwardly. If that's Samuel chapter 2. Because if you are not prepared inwardly, even if you have come to knock at your door, you are not ready. First Samuel chapter 2. First Samuel chapter 2. Samuel chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 8. He raised up. Okay. Either you are poor or you are rich. He has power to raise. The angels are ready to raise you up. That's why you are poor knowledge and poor assessment. Your dusty condition, he wants to lift you away from it. One of the most embarrassing thing is to lift up a beggar. A beggar stays in dirty place. If you lift up a beggar, there are some. Dirty things inside the rubbish that is. So back there, anything thorough. So back there, okay. I want it to see, to see what that are. Oh, be so okay, be lure. You will lift him up along with the dirty less. So back there, okay, be lure. I want it to see that are. You are irritating to the one who want to lift. Yo man, you are not back there, okay. Yo man, running no. But the Lord is saying, so man, that no we be. He will lift you up. It's your duty to remove the. The gallant thing away from you so you can shine up. Oh, no, 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 Privileges. I want the money at the Those who have business privileges. I want money to do share. Those who have connection privileges. Money at the That reminds me of an episode that happened some years ago. You know, I know what they call poverty. Poverty no me. I know my address. He knows my ministry. My ministry knows it. Oh man, he share and share. I want to see more. Almighty God decided to come visiting and knocking the door. We were invited to a place. And then I was a little bit late because of evangelistic here and there. The only seat that was remaining was the one I was to occupy. So as soon as I came in, I sat down and somebody was looking. That person did not talk until we finished the meeting. When we now finish, now can say, I don't know, uh, do know somebody mentioned by name. You see your brother or your elder brother or your younger brother or something. I said, What happened? He said, I just want to know. He said, I that speak with you, I am he. He said, Pastor Samson. How did you come to this level? Who helped you? It was a shocking question. I was never ready for it. But Holy Spirit, spoke, Holy Spirit spoke out of me. He said, Don't be offended. It's not my fault. It's my time that has come. 
He just carried his briefcase and he walked away. Oh, bad Come on, Later he called back. He said, Am I all to pay me, Father? I said, Am I all to pass for you? Why is that? I said, Yes. He said, Why did you decide to finish me like that? I said, Finish you how? He said, Do you understand the question I gave to you and the answer you gave? I said, What is the offense in don't be annoyed? It's not my fault. It's my time that has come. He said, I rejoice with you. By the time we finish from this program this evening, somebody will need to come and ask you before they know who you are. The Lord will give you an answer of peace. He saw me where he never thought he could find me. A change that we need you to reintroduce yourself. Like you happen to yourself. That change will happen this weekend. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. The word of the Lord is ready to empower your life. He says, and to make them to inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth belong to the Lord. And he says in verse 6, the Lord can kill. God can kill. Whatever is offensive to his operation on your life will be dead. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. All those who are forces that have sworn never to see you coming up. This weekend they will be dead. And he also talks that God maketh a life. When we talk about making to be alive, says, sometimes everything around you may have crashed. But the maker knows how to remake it. He will make the spirit of life to re enter into you. And you will live again. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. God can bring down to the grave. Grave is not part of your inheritance this year. Grave is not part of your inheritance this year. You will live to fulfill the assignment God gave to you. And that is why you must be serious about this program. Heaven is open, the earth must be ready. No matter how bad your situation is, there is hope. There is what? Hope. These four days program in God's presence. You must value it. Inwardly value it. Whatever you don't value, you don't treat it well. If you are too familiar with God's operations, He leaves you alone. Set gold for yourself. And, and pursue it. Pray repeatedly for God's mercy. Before you leave this place, a phone call will ring. That will cause you to be dancing without a drummer. A simple phone call that will terminate your life struggle is going to ring on your favor. Be peaceful in everything you 
do in this camp. Expect God miracle intervention. Run from thoughts and practice of sin. Everywhere you go, see the presence of the Lord communicating with you. Do so when they are sleeping. That place where you are sleeping may not be comfortable. But Jacob used stone to be his own pillow. He didn't disturb angel from coming up and going down. If your accommodation is in open heaven, only spirit can still minister to you there talk to yourself I'm ready for you lift so you have come physically you must now come mentally you must come emotionally you must come spiritually Jesus said come unto me all those who are struggling now come this for once by the grace of the Lord I have come to the side of the Lord since August 1978 right from that time of my coming no regret of any kind the only regret for those people who come to Christ is the regret why didn't I come earlier I will give you rest come in your faith you are talking to yourself when you are hearing the word of the Lord Lord if anybody will let me be the person. You have tried all you know how to try. Like Peter. Jesus may give you unprofessional professional advice. Jesus, only for me, Just as he gave it to Peter. He said you should cast it to the right side. Only go to a one In the daytime. Because he professionally wrong advice. But the king of all ages gave that instruction. forces of nature obey. All the fishes call themselves. Let us Your testimony will be loaded. No debt, and you are not going to be stranded. Therefore, bless all. Do what? Do what? Do what? Let the brotherly love continue. Pray always for people around you. This weekend. The open house, the key that will make you to rise. The corporate you more go pay. You will collect yours. What about it? By the time you are coming here next year, if at your bank one you are doing for, your testimony will be the biggest. Eh, the real you go be true. Shall we rise up? I think I did the rest. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Oh, go for God alone. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Oh, go for God alone. If it must be, the open house to be up to you. Oh, you are what? Hello, wow. Can you? wave your hand to say Lord I am here I am a candidate for your lifting any hand you want to lift me I am available my, my destiny must not refuse lifting my movement must not be anti-lifting Whatever is in my story that is out to damage my lifting, 
Help me to remove it from me. Just the ministers of God are ready from now. To, to start unleashing, to start releasing powerful keys. Help me to help myself. Please help me to help myself. Don't allow myself to damage myself. I am the means of people that are ready for God. Do not allow me to regret. You are going to pray to the Lord. Make me ready. Make me ready. Make me ready. Make me ready. Let my destiny to be ready. I'm going to ask the Lord if there is any irritation in my spirit. Always looking for something to criticize. Don't want to see your mouth. So I go back. Go back. Have you seen the type of shoe that person wore? Hey, we're all about that. Then you know what? Have you seen the type of dress the person wore? Show me what you're wearing. You know what? I don't like the voice. Put of that person, you are going to pray against the damaging influence. Let them move away from me. Whatever is in my body, run tenant in my spirit. Go away from me. Can you excommunicate? Run tenant in your body. Apostle Paul says, I see another law in my member. Warring against the law of my mind. Don't say no the city don't come me. Fighting against me. Don't take the card in the city bondage. Every evil law that have been activated to debase me. Walk away from my destiny. If Paul could see another law in his member, there are some people that are carrying different law in their bodies. Evil law in the hand of some people will make them to steal. Evil law to steal, steal, steal. Evil law in the eyes of some people will be lost. Evil law in the mind of some people they be thinking satanic thoughts. Have you find another law in your members? Evil law will make some people to be wandering around. Like Apostle Thomas. He is not there when Jesus showed up. Apostle Thomas, where were you? Apostle Thomas, in the Bolova. I am going to and fro. Only morning, Who has signed that word for you? I just feel like I, I could do one. Oh, come on, the time you cannot be able to locate yourself. Only today, for the mother to your reading of wandering spirits. I won't be marrying. I paralyze those law in my mind. Some people inordinate and hunger. I want mirror. I rock on Kupuruni. Hunger, inordinate hunger. Hunger. I pump pepper. A people the evil hunger will always come in. A people Puruni. Yo, my papa. They will not be able to control themselves. That I want to be because Satan want to cheat them. He told him, Mesa, that if I don't people is evil, evil feelings. I want mirror. Can you cast out another law in your member? Every satanic law in my member that are set to war against me. You will not succeed this year. Not the life of everybody coming for this program. You will not succeed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' beautiful name we pray. Holy Spirit divine. By your 
permission and grace after sharing this word to prepare your people I declare convention 2021 open in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit let lift us from the celestial city to start coming in to start lifting people that excels in glory in the beautification of the kingdom of God let your people be lifted rubbish of the dungeon Failure of the family. Backward inheritance. Conditions that have refused to change over the years. Beginning from now. Be lifted away from them. The same way an aircraft super jumbo. When the engine is pressed and they run, they take off. Off they go to the city of their destination. Your destiny is lifted from now. On a supersonic speed. Approved by Jesus our Messiah. Lift your people through singing. Lift them through the message of the word of God. Lift them through seminars. Lift them, oh God, mighty God, through all avenues. Nobody will have repetition of frustration. No matter the height you are before you are here, you'll be lifted higher to see better and feel more comfortable. This is done and is approved. Right from now till Sunday afternoon, the full key will be thrown to your picture. And it will be easy for you to achieve all. And the heavens are open. Gain that blessing now. And we will return back with singing. In Jesus' majestic name, we have prayed. And we jam our two living hands together to the glory of the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. You know, before you sit, we have those. People that God has ordained they will be in this program, they are already with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some people who shine in the morning hour. I want power. And by the afternoon, they no longer shine. There are some people who shine in the morning, in the afternoon, but in the evening. I want to know what But today, I have the privilege of bringing to the restaurant the grandmother. I want mama, mama, the mama. I want mama, mama, who shone like a bright shining star. I want to why in a younger days. I want to let you like my wife, who also brilliantly shone. You want it to turn low, low, in a afternoon time. Turn your son. And this time again, yeah, when the evening arrives, 
She is still shining. You join your hands together. To well, evangelists ordained by God, approved by Jesus. You know her name. Hallelujah. Beautiful things about this young girl's mama. The love of Jesus is still singing in her. Her glory is still singing. She kept holiness of God. And along the line.